So you're reinsulating a part of your house. Should you remove the old insulation? Let's talk about it. So first, let's look at the crawl space, if you're reinsulating your crawl space. Now, first of all, you may have a very dry, well put together crawl space. And if so, any old insulation that's in there is still going to hold on to dust and different pollutants, all kinds of things. For instance, you likely have fiberglass in that crawl space. If you were to go down there or if you were to ask your contractor to see some of that old fiberglass, you will probably see a lot of dark or even black markings around the edges of that fiberglass or all kinds of other discolorations. But what that is, is that's dust and other things being caught in that fiberglass, basically acting as a filter. Now, Think about air filters for your furnace, your car, anywhere else. Filters need to be changed out. And insulation should not act as a filter. Inevitably, some things will get through, but also if you're encapsulating or air sealing your crawl space, you are now trapping all of that stuff inside your conditioned space and it's going to get through your floor. It's gonna cause problems. You do not want this. You wanna get that old stuff out of there. Now let's talk about attics. This is typically where the question comes up the most. For example, if a contractor is putting spray foam insulation on the roof deck of your attic, and you probably have existing insulation on the floor or the flat of your attic. Typically, your contractor will recommend that that insulation needs to be removed from the floor. At least they should recommend it. And you may think, well, if I leave it up there, I'll get you know double the value because I have insulation in both places, or I already paid for that stuff, why would I want to get rid of it? Well, same thing things going on in your crawl space. There's going to be different things in that existing insulation that is dirty. It's nasty. There could be leave behinds from pests, all kinds of different things like that. If you ever had a moisture issue in your attic, all of that is going to be contained inside that existing insulation. It will hold all kinds of nastiness you want it out of your house. And I can't stress enough, if you're re-insulating your house with foam, you are establishing your building envelope on the outer layer of your home. What that means is that old nasty insulation that's on the floor of your attic is now inside your home. It's inside your air. Your indoor air quality will absolutely go down and be affected. Another thing is odors. If there's anything inside that existing insulation, again, that's gonna cycle throughout your home. Keep that in mind. I know I'm kind of saying the same thing over, but I can't stress enough that you do not want that left inside your house. Think about it like this that existing insulation that's there, would you put it in your living room or your kid's bedroom? No, because it's nasty. You don't want whatever's in that near your family. Get it out of there. Lastly, from an install perspective, if you leave existing insulation in place, it adds a ton of complications for that install crew. They have to work around it. If it's spray foam, it could blow some of it around. It could get trapped inside the foam, which can cause some problems it creates a lot of complications for that crew. So again, old insulation doesn't need to be removed. Yes, get it out of there. So now let's address exterior walls. Now this is a little bit of a different situation, mostly because everything is enclosed. Now I will say if you are gutting the house and you're tearing out the drywall on the inside, yes, get that old insulation out of there, replace it with something new. However, if you're leaving your walls intact and you're having retro foam injected into those exterior walls, that insulation that's in there will be encapsulated and again, everything is enclosed so it's not nearly as exposed as other areas as the house. So keep that in mind. Now with that said, if you're at this point in your research, you're probably ready to talk to a contractor. So go to our link below, hit our find a dealer link, go to that page and find a dealer near you and request a free estimate today. This is the Professor of Foam reminding you that building is a science.